space. So meditation, um, as you know, it can produce a state of deep relaxation and a tranquil mind, but not always. Um, sometimes people make up meditation rules and this constantly being used as me because they make it so hard. Like uh, clear your mind, no thoughts, be in silence. Um, it, it's really, meditation is really simple. You just do it. Uh, if you put your attention on the outcome, then you have expectations of what it needs to look like. But I'm suggesting you put your attention on the process. There's many ways to meditate. It does lead to a calmer mind in the long run. You can have a very agitated meditation. That's not wrong. It's just what you have in the moment. Um, sometimes a person's life is simply too stressful or too exciting a place for them to feel totally, completely safe, calm, relaxed, whatever. And that's okay. So you can have a really busy meditation one day and a really calm meditation another, and that's the way it goes. So if you happen to meditate and you come to um, white light and total peace, that's wonderful. And if it doesn't, that's wonderful. So just a few moments spent in breathing in a slow and intentional way can be very meditative. You don't need to invest all your spare time in practicing meditation. What they say is continuity is the key, not length of time. So even a couple of minutes every day will make a difference. It accumulates. So how do you meditate? Watch your thoughts, observe your thoughts and letting them go. And what do I mean by that? It's like um, watching a movie. You know, you watch a horror movie and yeah, you get a little juiced up. But you don't really believe the monster is going to walk into your room and eat you because you're watching it. So you watch your thoughts by observing and letting them go. You're able to find a rhythm to not be your thoughts, but to observe your thoughts. Um, you can also, some people find it very helpful to label their thoughts mm. before you let them go, like anger or joy or whatever. Now, I believe most people have heard you have to empty your mind of all thoughts in order to have an effective meditation. I could never do that. My mind's never silent. Or if it is, I don't notice it. Your goal in meditation is not to not think. Instead, it's to witness and observe your thoughts and to do that without a strong emotional charge. That's why if you label it, it takes away some of the charge. Like maybe you're angry. So if you say, oh, I'm angry, that lowers the anger intensity. So we're going to start a meditation. I call this the just sitting meditation with a parable. Once a traveler sought guidance from a meditation master to find balance in life. The master presented two stones, one very heavy and the other quite light. He instructed the traveler to carry both in each hand while meditating. As the traveler struggled, the master spoke. Life's burdens and joys are like these stones. Through meditation, you learn to hold them with equanimity, finding harmony with the dualities of existence. So let's take a moment to do nothing. It sounds easy enough. What does it mean to sit and do nothing? To not be concerned about how you are sitting. To not be concerned about the state of your mind or the state of your feelings. To avoid being concerned about, am I doing this right? to be unconcerned about anything, anything at all. To ask yourself what it is to just sit down and do nothing. This is not the kind of question to raise 
to answer. It's the kind of question you pose and then you leave it alone. Leave it alone as though I've never asked it. When you leave everything alone, when you stop trying to tinker with it, when you stop trying to improve it, you may begin to notice that the only thing that ever thinks you need to do anything else but leave it alone is your mind. There's nothing in your room, there's nothing in the stars that ever thinks you need to do anything else but leave it alone except your mind. There's nothing in the trees or the air you breathe. There's nothing in your legs or your arms. There's nothing in what you're sitting on that says you should be doing anything more. There's nothing in what you're sitting on that says you should be doing anything different than just sitting. Right now, outside of your mind, everything's content. It is just as it is. It knows no other way to be. Simply allowing your being to receive what it feels like to be in a universe that's not asking anything of you. What is it like to have no demands placed upon you? To just receive what it feels like to be in a universe that's not asking anything of you. Without any demands placed on your shoulders. An absence of any alternative motive. Lacking any goal being laid out in front of you. Without any objective. Absence is the need to accomplish or conquer. You may simply find yourself receiving this directless invitation. You may find at some moments the narrative in your mind tells you, you need to do something other than just sit here. Nothing's happening. 
This is a waste of my time. Hmm. Your mind may have its waking dream of you're just sitting here. Whether you are good at it or not. Whether it's going the way you want or not. whether it's going the way it should go or could go or would go if. Whether it is of any use or not. Essentially, it's all a waking dream, all the thoughts. Notice how no outside agency is even at all concerned with your thoughts. No outside agency is trying to change them or suggest they be anything different. The truth of your being even the universe all around you has no real relationship with the thoughts that arise in your mind or anybody's mind. Nothing is against them or for them any more than a bird is bothered by the sky supplies them. The same is true with feelings, emotions. Notice how everything presents itself in this field of stillness, a field of awareness. In this field of stillness and awareness, Nothing is in opposition to anything that arises, whether it be a feeling or a thought or a sound or an emotion or opposition is lacking. Disagreement is absent. At certain moments, you might notice how truly artful your mind is in getting your intention, how skilled it is in engaging you. All thoughts crave to be believed. And even that's okay. It is the way it is. The need for it to be different is absent. By accepting everything, nothing can strain you, nothing can stress you. By allowing what is, pressure literally disintegrates. It 
this is what it means to just sit and do nothing. To avoid being concerned about how we're sitting or our state of mind or our state of feeling. Because no matter what, it is the way it is. And so I wish you both a very happy new year. May it be one of fulfillment. I will see you in January with something different. Thank you for joining me.